is done before they even go to any state election. That's what I'm expecting them. Yeah. All those fighting after they have defeated them, they will come to the street and be yeah. uh, putting people like all that courage. People are dying at the end. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah. The best thing to do now yeah. is, to, is to push for the reform that they actually, that they actually needed no, they and won't. to ensure that this is done before any other local government or, or national election. They won't do it. No. And at the end, after they have gone and done nonsense, they put people's life on. People who die, that nothing happens. Like in the issue of uh, Wiki and uh, Ubara, you know, I was listening to, I think it's a rice yesterday that uh, I think it's a morning show. Right. That, um, you know, send a message to, to Fubara to, to ensure restriction. He has not been able to call a Wiki who actually is the, is, the, is the person behind all those crises in, in, a, in, a, in the rivers. No. And this is kind of leader that we have. He have left the Nigeria country, which is the president, to go to abroad and take treatment. Yeah. How, how many people have been talking to going to Nigeria? Yesterday, uh, this lady that used to, I did something that used to, is one of the bloggers too. I was interviewing the minister of uh, health. Oh, oh, I think uh, it's uh, What's that name again? Yeah, he was. Uh, just looking um, at him now, yeah. Go Adiola. Yeah, he was, inter yeah, the other was interviewing the minister of uh, health. Minister. Mm -hmm. that, uh, are you happy that your leaders are coming outside the country for treatment and you keep on saying that you have enough at home? If the minister was dodging, was dodging, was dodging. Uh -huh. This is kind of what, what pays me most. What's supposed to get Nigerian angry? We will never get them angry. They will be going attacking individuals for their little, little things. But the leader who are putting them under pressure that's supposed to get angry about, they will never get angry no. about. And to make the matter worse, those who have problems out of Nigeria, eh, who have lived in abroad, they still go back to Nigeria, they still be behaving like say, they have never had trouble. Like I see the issue of a uh, Ghana boy that uh, arrested uh, Stan Linton, or that we said yesterday. Okay, can he do that in America? He can never do that in America. No, no they will not allow him to, to do that nonsense. But they will come to Nigeria after living abroad, they've seen good life. They will come to Nigeria because you know everything is possible in Nigeria. They will come and do what they want to do and go scuffling. Those are the anti Nigerian. They will come out as okay, let it be position. Nobody is coming to do it for them. Mm. Understand? I was talking to somebody. I was talking, let me just try and allow with this one. A friend of mine, we went to do ITS uh, exam before coming to UK. Though unfortunately, he couldn't meet up. Understand? Maybe he failed or whatever. And we met here. So he couldn't come with us to UK. So last week we were discussing. You know what he told me that shocked me. Wow. He said that uh, when I was thinking about this problem in Nigeria, he said it's a uh, media propaganda. It's not like that. Ah, I was shocked. <laughs> do you know what it called shock me? What it, no, do you know what it called shock me, pal? Right. Do you know what it called shock me, pal? Lost. And also, okay, what part about your traveling now? Huh? He said now they have given him invitation for. Invitation, he has to pay money if I can find money for him. I, said, oh, okay. I should find money for him. Right. I said, Nigeria, Nigeria are not good again. Why do you want to do Nigeria? You are saying that uh, now if the people, the repeated, the, the media are over reporting what is happening in Nigeria, how much is bag of rice? Even 2022, when I left Nigeria, it's 25,000, it's over 100,000 now. And you said, do that over reporting, over, over reporting all this thing. Yeah, it's been exaggerated. Now, it's, it's, never tell you, say, now, uh, you where they are abroad. Uh, now, 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 us where they are abroad. Uh, now, we they overreact, they uh, over report this thing. I'm not you that one. Uh, now, now, the money when I make here, I should give you to go and do this to live Nigeria. I want you to live in Nigeria for. Yeah, to live in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. My brother, this is from Nigeria. Hey, some people, people you want to fight for, they will turn back against you. I don't, you know, but I told my wife yesterday, I said, you are trying to, you know, because, <laughs> I see some people that could have got me and believe I were you <laughs> that I would not miss any well, program. If I did, I would keep your sanity too. Like, say, okay, I can still go ah. to those very political and this go relax so that I can understand the whole thing and then, uh, you know, keep my sanity. It is well. Hmm. Adesa, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. That one. All right, well. God bless you, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Uh, Adesa uh, from uh, Edinburgh, the capital of uh, Scotland. We live together. Is my neighbor. Next, uh, you know, that's Adesa. By the way, we are almost uh, coming to the close of the chat uh, this afternoon. I didn't know that a lot of you are going to be up this afternoon. I thought we are going to just have uh, one or two calls. But bless everybody, just glue to their phone. Pa, 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 pa. Here is another caller. 
Hello. Hello, General. This is the African Wahala. That's Good Mr. morning. Diwale, the African Wahala from Canada. Oh, no, I don't wake up too early this morning. Oh, how are you, sir? <laughs> we're good brother fantastic we're man. doing very well you know grand another day honestly i missed the show oh, so I, I only came in about 30 minutes ago and i was doing catch up i also missed the show yesterday i ended up watching it late last night yes. while working out and um i wanted to talk about the burner boy issue but before i go into that Please. i wanted to ask you mayugo yes. have you started going back to the gym uh, not yet. So I did go back, okay? I went twice. Then I kind of observed that, uh, I don't know, I think, I, you know, if I press my stomach like that, I was feeling this, uh, you know, little bit of uh, tingling and tingling, like a small pain. So I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it. This is the fifth week, you know? I mean, sorry, the fifth week ended oh. last, uh, last week. So they gave me six. So I believe that uh, oh. next week, I should be much better. I could feel better though, right? But I felt like... yeah. Uh, I didn't do much when I went. I didn't do much. But, you know, pretty much like uh, psychologically, I felt like maybe I went back early. Sure, you get too so early. Yeah, but next time, yeah. right? I should be me. Yeah. I'll be back next yeah, time. Yeah. I, 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 I was about to encourage you, but because I was assuming six weeks has already passed. So, it has yeah. Yeah. Time. You should absolutely stick to that six weeks. Yeah. It's yeah, better to stick to the see, doctor's this recommendation. People, their time, yeah? Sometimes, right? You may think you are okay right uh but mm. not fully okay you just kind of like you know possibly like uh, an outlier right that feels better yeah. but yeah i'll wait till next week i will thanks so much baba yes sir no no problem no problem yes. baba so yeah um burner boy and the other guy ah uh, forgotten that guy's name now yeah so i saw the video to be honest from, i know go for it <laughs> so it wasn't until I watched the show yesterday that I got the full context of what happened. Because earlier in the day, I saw some videos on Twitter mm -hmm. and I heard Bonner Boy kidnapped him. I was out already. I don't even like Bonner Boy prior to all this stuff. Right. And I don't even like all these Nigerian musicians. I don't like their actors. I don't like their politicians. I don't like their pastors. Mm -hmm. The only people that I like in Nigeria that are influential are those people that are talking about the mess that is going on in Nigeria. That's why the types of musicians that me, I like personally, I like guys like Idris Abdul Karim, you know, guys that are singing about the revolution, that are encouraging people to stop settling for this poverty and slavery. Those are the people that I like. Mm -hmm. Now, back to Burner Boy. I've had people try to convince me in the past that this guy sings revolutionary music. Oh, African Wahala, no, listen to this song. No, hear this one. And they tell you, this guy, they sing this guy they con condemn government. I say, eh, hey, forget that thing. No be that guy we slap that girl for for silver bed galleria for yeah. Potakot. That up. guy in a thug. Yeah. This was this was a long time ago, before he was even a star. Okay. I remember that story a long time ago. So I could never respect him for that. Now, looking at the other guy that was defaming him, claiming yeah, that he did Darlington. stop with PDD. That no normal. It's Darlington. You get that one now, we read. Michael, you gave it the perfect description yesterday. In your show, you said, We read doom wo, but could doom be lomo. Nobody won't bond with us. Could say be lomo. We all love to see you there. <laughs> go on TikTok, you go see so many movies there. You can enjoy looking at them, watching them, and laughing. But none of you want them as a member of your family. No. Not so now. But you know, say if you if person to do weary content, if your content now to the show say, ah, I'm I know normal, I'm not well, your content will most likely grow. You have a lot of followers. That's right. Because you are entertaining, you entertain people. Although you might not have any skills, you might not have any transferable skills or talents, nothing genuine about you. But just because you can make people, you can make yourself look ridiculous and people can laugh at you, then you get some following, and that's Darlington. That's the Darlington story. So when Darlington went all harm against burner boy in that video i'm not gonna lie to you bro me personally <laughs> i will be upset it's however too like if somebody went down for me i won't let it pass yeah. that much of course but maybe yeah. not just go that route that uh, this guy went that burner boy went so what burner boy did was he acted like a rome you know when you're in rome you behave like a roman mm. so when he's in nigeria 
he acted like a Nigerian and used the Nigerian evil system to do what he did to speed Darlington. And to me, that gives me an opportunity for an international superstar to showcase how useless the Nigerian system is. Thank you, Burner Boy. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Burner Boy, for sacrificing yourself and showcasing how useless. I really hope this story goes viral and a lot of his fans in the international markets know what happened so that they understand how corrupt the Nigerian system is. Well, at the end of the day, a lot of them actually know. Let's keep it real. A lot of people actually know these things, but they just turn a blind eye because it doesn't affect them. You know, this is a world where, <laughs> this is, we live in a world where the governments of countries that claim to be democratic tell us African countries that you must also practice democracy. Then they push a drug baron to become our leader, an individual they would never allow to be a leader in their country. So I understand the way the world works, you know. They they don't they are going to turn a blind eye, but thank you, Burner Boy, for showcasing how ridiculous the Nigerian system is. Um, for his fans, people that genuinely want to um, protest against what Burner Boy did, I encourage you to unfollow him, unfollow him, stop listening to his music. But that's not going to happen. I know you're still going to, going to go back to him. But yeah, I just wanted to just with you quickly, Mayugun General, and touch down, touch um. You know, touch down yes, on the temple of truth one more time. Yes, you. yes, and, the and African that's it. Wahala. And thank you so much yes, for all you do, man. Okay, so you have a good one yourself, right? Have a good day. Thank you too, brother. Yes, sir, that's uh, uh, the African Wahala, all the way from uh, Canada. By the way, now you have a choice. You can have a shot at this uh, yourself if you pick on that number. The number is on the screen. It is uh, plus four four double seven zero six nine. Uh, double two three two one. Use it, and you may be speaking uh, to me like this. My caller, to you. hello, sir. One memo, hey, oh, Sita. One name, one, one name, one day the number. It has been a while. How are you? I go, Jay. That is me. Hmm? Um, yeah, I go. Uh, the, when I Thank, when thank I you so much. So you are up early too. Out. It seems that everybody is up this early. Somehow, somehow, it's quite uh, strange. By the way, it must really be a, an interesting thing that some of you have been uh, looking for time to share uh, your views that I have not been lucky to have you. So here you are. Oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm always, I'm always on the background. I'm I always know. watching and listening. Even if I miss, even if I miss when I get back home, I, I will have to watch. <laughs> thank you know. You. Please. Yeah. When whenever I tell people you are a special one, they don't understand the meaning of being special. Oh. The meaning of mean, the meaning of being special is that you don't have an enemy and you don't have a friend. You you give it you give it the way it is. You know. And, I always, uh, remind, and I always you, remind people that uh, I know that myself. I may say something that makes you feel like uh, yeah, this guy ah, this guy is good. Ah, this guy is the best. Because I'm talking about some people, and in the evening, you may come back and be like, "This guy is rubbish. I don't even know what I'm doing on this set." You know what I mean? That is me exactly. because mine is to actually touch some uh, some nerves in you, get you thinking, not to agree with me. No, no, you are not here to agree with me. You are here to think yeah, that, with me. That is so, that is the reason. That's the reason you called it the temple of truth. It is uh, truth. Mm -hmm. Truth does not have an enemy. Doesn't have a friend. Yes. God bless you. The only thing that the truth do is that it makes sure that it can it can change uh, uh, it can bring a positive change to Amen. the lives of men Thank both you. today, hmm. tomorrow, and forever. Bless you know. You. So so anyway, um, there's something that I really I watched yesterday, and uh, when I come up on this program today, I saw the, the picture, hmm. and um, the picture is on. Um, on a uh, uh, wiki, did you see uh, I, I, uh, my comment is specifically for his family? Hmm. If they love him so much, especially his wife and his children, you mean the one on they your screen right so, now? Yeah, yeah, the way he was looking before, he was uh, the, the way he was looking before he became the governor, and how he's looking right now. Hmm. If the family they believe they love him so much. 
all they of this in the go, space of uh, eight years, man. Eight years. If they need to go and do a thorough medical checkup, hmm. both psychologically and physically, you can see two different persons. You know? So this man is sick. He is sick. It's obvious he's sick. And his sickness is coming from two perspectives. Mm. The kind of drink he has been taking, he is a drunkard. He's there on his face. Wow. And he, the, the wickedness he has inside of him, the pain he has inside of him, mm. those two things, they consume people easily. Mm. Because the more you are paid inside your heart, you are open, you, just, you, you are just, you just drown your sorrow, your frustration, you drown it with drinks, and he always takes his toll. Osita. Yeah. Hmm. So it's taking a toll on him. So except if the, except the wife wants to tell us that he, she doesn't care about him, she doesn't love him. Hmm. If it's a wife that actually loves him, that cares about him, that wife should be able to take action right now. Even if it is to go against his belief, even if it's to come out in the press, because at this is age, the, her kids should not be fatherless. Mm. They should come out, she should come out and speak. Even if it's to ask the so-called uh, uh, druggie that is there as the president to relieve him of the duties. Mm. If she actually loves her husband, that is what she is supposed to do. That man is sick, that man is gradually dying and everybody's looking at him, he's gradually dying. He is, he is psychologically deranged right now. He doesn't even know what he's doing. So that is he the problem that 19, he, he was born uh, on the 13th of December, 1967. So if you look at the math, where the weekend is less than so, 60 years old. He's less than 60 years of age. And look at the way he's looking. So this is this is somebody I was telling somebody one day he said oh maybe he is dieting he's changing I said this is not dieting look at his face the wrinkles on his face the cream on his face you will find out that there's a lot of problem about this man health wise wow. so that is the problem that he that, that I just said I can speak to the way, to kind of feel like man after I mean. After watching everything about him, he just felt so concerned. Like, this guy is not really looking great with all the money, the access to possibly the best medical care he could buy. Something is just not right. Something is guy. not right. So, because at the end of the day, my own is that I don't want him to die now because I want him to live so that he can be like, he can be like go on and go on and see the mm. evil that he has caused. Look at go on today. He doesn't even know if, if he wants to stay in Jamaica. He wants to live in London. He wants to live in Nigeria. He doesn't because everywhere he goes, he is always covered with shame. And that is something I want Wiki to, to go through. I don't want him to die. Some people might feel, oh, that he should die. But no, yeah, I want him to be alive, to see what he has done to the society. So that is just my take this morning. Thank you so much. And on the case of Bonaboy, Right. I don't I do not know why we are all surprised. This is somebody, this is somebody on stage. That is the reason I don't anything that has to do with him, I don't, I don't, I, I don't even want to listen to it. Because this guy on stage, even a fan of his went on stage just to dance with him. And the next thing he did, he punched, look at it, it's in the YouTube. He punched that fan of his. Oh, you're talking so, about the one where yeah, doing this uh, African giant tour that he pushed that yeah. his massive uh, boots I, on the face of yeah. of of, a, of a, a fan, and that guy wrote a fan. I remember. So, so it's not what he what he did is not it shouldn't be new to anybody. The moment I I I keep saying it here, everybody. The reason everybody is 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 uh, is trying to be successful, even if it is. Uh, negatively or positively, is that everybody wants to oppress his own his, his oh, own uh, people? So many of us so have that faith in us. And so that's why they were asking you, if yeah. you, you won't do that more than that. Yeah. Uh, if so somebody that's abuse the your mama, won't you do more than that? I was like, no, I exactly. won't. Yeah, yeah. so that's the reason. Yeah. That's the reason. I abuse your papa too. Change you get. 
tit for tat. Yeah. These people, these people you call abroderians, you, 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 the reason you call them that stuff is because they don't want Nigeria to be good. No. They want to go back home so that when they go back home, they can be signing autographs. Yes. They become, they become a superstar. You they become it. mega stars. Uh -huh. To just to oppress people. That is the reason some people come abroad and feel that, oh, when I go back home, if I change my $1,000, then it will automatically turn to 1.6 million naira. Mm. It will turn to 1.6, 1.7 million naira. That's a lot of money. I can control people. That is just uh, what Nigerians are. Thank we'll you very down. much, my Thank brother. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your morning and the day, okay? Uh, right. you, you have a good one, sir. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll take just one more, just one. Then, if you are still with me this afternoon, I remember to, I, I kind of like this broadcast before you leave, okay? We only have just about two minutes to go. Two, three minutes maximum. Hello there. Oh, I lost the caller, unfortunately. So that means that uh, we can just call it a day now. So, um, see, I want to appreciate everyone uh, turning up here this afternoon or this morning. Uh, I hope I get to see you later this evening as well. I've got more. For us, for us later this evening. So if you are living now, as we are living now, remember to like this broadcast, okay? Share it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Those watching me on Facebook, right? I don't know. Maybe one day you're going to wake up and my Facebook will be gone. And I promise you, once this uh, Facebook is gone, my Egon's Diary political Facebook is gone, I don't think I'm going to open another one. I'll just kind of forget it and leave the sugar back. How can they sus suspend my personal Facebook profile? Simply because some people hijacked or hacked my uh, Instagram because Zuckerberg controls both. He owns both. So somebody hacked my Instagram, posting nonsense there, and then the next thing, my Facebook got taken off air. Like, how is that even like, how is that sensible? I'm still asking myself. But to those of you who can still see me on Facebook, I advise you find a means and subscribe onto my YouTube channel. That's where I am still. I'm trying to build my Rumble as well, but that doesn't seem to be very much uh, popular among uh, my kind of uh, viewers. But we'll keep trying. So the rest of us, right? You have a very wonderful uh, day. I will see you later. Good afternoon.